They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. I strike with no warning, no, they don't see it coming. I handle my business, stay the fuck out the way. Yeah, all on my lane, get the fuck out my space. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. And this is... Obviously... Uh, the, the hood bitch damn near got her uh, her shit knocked off um, and it's unknown whether or not um, they was trying to hit her baby daddy or if they was trying to hit her baby daddy in his heart uh, take your bitch away and your child real gangster shit um we got we got to talk about it, um, because this, this is the life that you want. If you gonna be a hood bitch and you on a street nigga with with all that money that can you know buy you whatever anytime, I, my nigga get money, bitch, and all that shit like that. This will come with it. You understand? There is no easy way to get money. If you if that money is worth you risking your life, I mean, you know, the more dangerous the job, the more you get paid. So you have to imagine if you're getting this much from a person, like you're old enough to understand that nothing's free here. Shout out to T D uh T D Hip Hop Media. As you can see I'm uh subscribed to his channel. He just dropped the video. But uh, also, uh, if y'all have not went to the Patreon, listen, there are too many fucking stories. We got the fucking, the bitches at the gas station twerking on one side of the car. Baby's kids still in diapers on the other side of the car playing with the fucking gas nozzle. And that steel shot is truly, but it wasn't a steel shot, it was a video. But that, if you took a picture of that, that would be the poster. Um, that would pretty much sum up where we're at in 2019 as a black community. This is where the fuck we're at. And uh but them same ass nothing ass bitches that's working on side the call can take their ass slap up to the goddamn child support office, shot the courthouse on uh, Monday morning and that fucking court system will bring that fucking baby dad and that bitch and tell him he's not a good father. We got the bitch in Georgia. Um Exposed all the niggas that she fucked and she after she came out and said she got HIV Not only was she exposing the niggas. She was talking about the niggas old ladies like yeah, bitch You got it too, Dolores Cynthia. Yeah, all that talking you were doing bitch. Yep. Mm-hmm. You dying right with me I'm an evil motherfucker. I gotta do that fucking story. Um It's just it's too much you go on my Instagram you need to get to my Instagram not for no other reason but so that you can stay up. I can't post all this shit to YouTube. I can't. It's too much. You're going to have to come to the Instagram to get the mini videos and shit like that and see just where we're at and, and put your word down. Like, man, I want to see a video on this. I want to see a video on that. Um, but getting to the Patreon is a must. Um, if you haven't seen the Suki Hana video, if you haven't seen the Why It's Okay to Snitch in 2019, um, the... Um, uh, when to let your friends, uh, uh, when to cut off your loved ones, uh, the different levels to tricking, 
You know what I'm saying? Those videos, you cannot see those. The only place you can get those videos, and these videos are an hour plus. You know what I'm saying? So if you like for the videos, if you like for me to go deeper and break shit down, that's where I can do it at. You understand? So uh, for all the people, ah, oh, you get you be rambling and you get out the topic. First of all, fuck nigga. How long have you been watching this shit? You know that I don't stay on topic. We not I, like you don't. You not. You don't rock with us, like, so you don't, you used to them niggas, you used to them, they, yeah, stay right here, like, nah, nigga, this, this is really us talking, we having a whole dialogue right here, you understand, take your faggot ass over there where the fuck them folks is at, we don't do that over here, we don't stick on no fucking topic, we gonna talk, we gonna conversate, cause it's not just a fucking, it's not one incident, it's a whole, it's a whole lot of shit that go through, but you don't know that shit, them niggas don't know that shit. So they can't give you the behind the scenes and, and what a nigga was thinking when he, you know what I'm saying, first got the gun and shit like, you know, they don't know. They never been there. So they can't give you no in-depth explanation. I can. So I'm taking you all around the world. If you don't like that shit, just fucking leave. You don't got to leave no comment. Don't come here. We don't stay on topic over here. We don't. So if you don't like for a motherfucker to ramble and get off topic, Leave. We don't gotta make them comments no more. But it's just it's faggot, so that that's what they'll do. It's just how they get their rocks off. But um, get to the fucking Patreon so that you can always stay um on top of what's going on with us. Also on top of that, you understand, and and you you'll hear about that. Go to the Stupid Rappers channel and watch the um light skin Keisha and uh Coco Vango uh Stupid Rappers episode, and you'll understand what the patreon numbers mean to the networks that we're trying to shop the show to um in october um and you'll understand what it means it's leverage for us but that that's something totally different go on that channel see that but um here we have it um young miami i thought the nigga Southside was in the car obviously he wasn't so I don't want to go too far off topic, but let's just see from the hip hop group, the City Girls. Police say that she was shot at while simply leaving a recording studio. Local tents in Marvel is in Northwest Miami Day with the latest on this investigation. The good news is young Miami, who is pregnant, is not hurt, but not even she knows who is shooting at her. It came from the house. New video has been circulating on social media after a Miami-based rapper was shot at early Tuesday morning. The clip allegedly shows Carisha Brownlee, better known as Young Miami, on the scene at Northwest 135th Street and 1st Avenue, describing the people who fired at her. I don't know what it came from. Brownlee is one half of the popular rap duo City Girls, who have collaborated with artists like Cardi B and French Montana. Their single, Act Up, has more than 25 million views on YouTube in just two months. I thought that was very, very, very important. You have to look at and listen, pay attention to the small um, details. The news reporter is putting emphasis on the views. The news is saying, subconsciously, he's telling people, that's a feat. Two, 25 million in only two months. So if you want to be awesome, cool, and, and have an accomplishment, you need to focus on the views. You need to get a lot of views. I thought that was so like, the, even the news, but then you think about it like, yeah, yeah, they would be in on the propaganda, making sure that everybody is not only on their phone, but trying to truly focusing and, and recognizing themselves, uh, limiting themselves to who they are online and not even who they are, but their numbers. You are your numbers. If your numbers are low, then you should have low self-esteem. If your numbers are high, you should have high self-esteem, which helps the, the bullshit ass um, streaming services and all the online networks because a child will beg their parent to pay for them to get more followers. 
mom, I need my fucking, I'm gonna kill myself in a, in a, a pair of looking at it, like, you can now buy your child followers for their birthday. We'll have to talk about that later. According to Miami Dade police, the car was hit several times, and you can see several places on this fence at the scene that seem to show bullet strike marks. But incredibly, Brownlee, who is pregnant, wasn't hurt. I just don't understand the mentality, the mindset. Um, people are, they have these beasts and they're willing to take a life, an innocent life. This woman who lives nearby did it. Let me tell you something, bitch. Let me tell you something, bitch. I, and I, I, cause I hate fake shit. I hate, like, don't come on this news channel because you see these white people. I just don't understand why black people wear weave. Like, it's just, you should wear your natural hair whilst, but and then you'll have it. Of course, what you'll have is a, a mixed girl or some shit like that who, who got a whole bunch of makeup on. She got ass shots and, and titty uh, implants, but she, uh, she got quote unquote good hair, so she don't gotta have weave. And that's, I think that's the biggest identifier of uh, insecurity in motherfuckers that wear weave because it's like, if you, if your hair was wavy, you wouldn't wear weave because you would think that your hair is good. Who in the fuck said that was good hair? What the fuck is wrong with your hair? Why can't your natural hair be good hair? Who the fuck said they hair was good hair? But you, uh, yeah, I just don't understand. Like, come on, motherfucker. You do understand what the fuck is going on. And the bitch understands. Are you going to take an innocent life? What innocent life? Hey, yo, what it do, man? It's your man, Ayo Conseco. I'm tuning in with the Big Face Podcast. One. I can't do it. I can't do it. That just ain't my style, dog. I just, I just gotta keep it real. Look, dog. Let me holler at y'all. Look, I don't put that Patreon, them numbers for the Patreon. That's for AO Nation. If you're in AO Nation, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put all the videos. They won't be listed on YouTube. So if you want all the videos and shit like that, you need to be a Patreon. If you want to contribute to the conversation that we have every Monday night. We go live on the Big Face Podcast YouTube channel at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to contribute to that conversation, have the call in number to where you can call in at any fucking time during those lives, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put those Patreon numbers in the men two numbers at the beginning of the show just so you can hear Winning Streak. As a matter of fact, if you want the whole Winning Streak single, all you have to do is send $2 to the Cash App or the PayPal. Um, and I'll send the song to whatever email is attached to your PayPal or Cash App. It's not that fucking hard. Um, but the Patreon is for AO Nation. I expect for y'all to fuck with that. Um, and before y'all start asking, this hat is not for sale. Um, the markup on it is too high. I was just trying to see what that shit looked like for real. The markup is too high right now, so I have to sell that shit for like $30. And I'm not prepared to say that to y'all. Um, so right now we just have the men two t-shirts for 20, uh, Big Face Podcast. We have the new Navy Blue Big Face Podcast uh, t-shirt, uh, 15. Everything is 15 with the men two t-shirt. Then you got the Big Face Podcast Scully for uh, $10 deal. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 and put all your information in that motherfucker. Um, I salute everybody, all of my niggas, all of the men two, men two, men two members, AO Nation members, that have been donating to the show. As you know, I'm a nigga on YouTube, so it is what it is. So when you contribute, it's a big deal to me. Um, but don't go crazy. Uh, but every uh, third Sunday, we do the AO Nation donation conversation where I shout out everybody who showed love uh, within that period and shit like that. If you don't want to be mentioned during that show, all you have to do is put no mention and you won't be mentioned. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody who shows love every third Sunday. It seems like my message has went out there to where people know if you're a small business, you gotta have at least $100 for promotion. Uh, if you're an artist, you need to have at least $200 for promotion. Other than that, just leave me alone. I do this shit by myself, but 
I salute everybody for really giving me my time, giving my space to do what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So I salute you. You want to go to work? Let's go to work. That IG sponsorship shit is not doing shit for you, and you know that. So handle your fucking business. Holler at me. Let's get some shit done. I'll see you on the man. Get the shit together, be home. What innocent fucking life? I don't un like. So what the fuck don't you understand about this shit? Once you come in the street, there is no. Once you jump up off that porch, ain't no turning around. Ain't no turning around. Once you turn your first leak, trick. Ain't no turning around. Ain't no turning around. Once you choose that. My life isn't as valuable as this Birkin bag. My life is less valuable than the money I'm going to get from dating a dope boy. And this is why I tell you niggas, I told you niggas before, if you want to see the um, fail proof ride or die test, go to the Patreon and you'll see the white boy test. Why I told y'all about, you know, and if, if, if you know the test, do not... Right in the comment section, I'm going to block you. I'm going to put it on the Patreon where I roll out. If you really in the street like that and you trying to see if a female is really for you and shit like that, I'll tell you how to test her. You're going to need, I ain't going to tell you what you're going to need, but it's going to be very easy. And afterwards, you will know exactly who she is, what she going to do under pressure. It ain't going to be no excuses. It's going to be cut and dry who the fuck she is. And that's what you have to do as a street nigga to protect your motherfucking asset. But as a street nigga that's getting money, you should already understand. You should already be able to look a bitch up and down and understand who the fuck she is. It ain't about, no, I spoil her because I want to and all that. You talking that fuck shit, nigga. You talking that bullshit. You're not, you're, like, you don't have them investments. You don't have enough investments. Your money's not making money while you sleep, so you broke. You still have to go out here and actively work for your fucking money. That's not no fucking money. You don't have money until the money actually makes it on its own. So all you got to do is watch the money. For days on end, just watch the money keep on going up without making no moves. But in order to make that happen, you have to go out here and be active. You know what I'm saying? But before that, you have to actually get the investment money to start with. You understand? And it's just the investment game is no different than any other game. You have to fail at it in order to get good at it. You're not just going to come in, oh, I got a tip from this motherfucker. Oh. Yeah, he said, you're going to have to be out this motherfucker, lose something. Oh, I see what the fuck I did wrong there. Lose something. See what I did wrong there. And keep on getting better. Investments is the only thing that's going to, if you don't have investments, you're just going to be another broke nigga because the money's going to run out. It's going to run out and you're putting all this fucking overhead on top of yourself. And on top of that, you got a needy ass bitch because she's bad as fuck. Believe me, my nigga. I understand, but you can pay that hoe. You can pay the bitch if you want to fuck. After that, what the fuck is it for? You want to go with this hoe that don't... For what? That says something about you, man. It says something about you on the inside of you. You truly have low self-esteem. She's making you feel better about your... You should be fucking this hoe at nighttime. Nobody got to see nothing. I'm back to trying to get what the fuck I got to get. These hoes are going to come a dime a dozen. You can walk in rooms and point... I want her. Let's do it. Come on, man. We got to do better than this. These are bottom feeders. They're not bringing shit to the table. Javante Davis. I got to talk about that. That's another video I got to do. I got to talk about this nigga, man. What the fuck are you doing with this nothing muck ass, nab ass bitch? This whole got kids and everything. For a rap nigga. So you, like, you open the door, you leaving the door open for beef right there. This nigga might get high one night and say, man, fuck that nigga. You know you want to say it. Niggas already want you to beef. Why the fuck you just can't have one and be off to the side? I ain't on none of that. 
This bitch is not gonna be the reason why I got a, a bulletproof all my fuck. No, my nigga. But they, we, we come from this place where this is all we know. Bad bitch, stupid car, fresh clothes, and diamonds. Nigga, I'm the man. I'm fresh as fuck. This bitch bad as fuck. These diamonds going stupid. Man, look at this fucking car. What you talking about? Like, I'm that nigga. But nigga just don't understand how... Dog, like... That shit, like... That... <laughs> For every bad bitch you got, you putting, you just poking holes in your fucking pocket, just stabbing them bitches. Stabbing them bitches and turning the knife. Every time you walk, ching, 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 ching. Money everywhere. To show motherfuckers you got it. They're like, come on, man, but we, we just, that, that's what we is, though, as niggas. We just, we just own that shit. We just own that shit. When we was broke, though, when we was broke, though, man, I ain't for none of you bitches, bro. I ain't for none of you hoes, bro. You hoes ain't about shit. But now you get it, and then, like, it ain't shit, my nigga. And that's that fake-ass shit to me, dog. That's fake as fuck to me. Like, you really, the money really has blinded you so much to where you don't believe that you'll ever, you never going broke again. Like NBA Youngboy was a, a, a retarded ass. You're not doing shit to make sure of that. You're just saying it because we own now, so we ain't never gonna go off because we own. So you've never seen a rapper go broke? Smarter rappers than you. But that's something different. But what I'm what I'm saying is for you to say innocent people, what's innocent about the bitch? that influences me subconsciously to sell more dope, to check any issue in the street so that she can stay in the latest. The bitch Ari, the bitch Ari says, if I don't have a Bentley outside, Oliver Davis, I th that's a uh, shout out to Organic Soul Gumbo. Um, we starting to do no noise. What do you want we doing? That's crazy. Um, but the nigga um, already told uh, Javante Davis, if I don't have, she just made a post, if I don't have a Bentley outside tomorrow, I'm single. This bitch, Young Miami. Wrote down, I, I secured 18 years. And then the nigga Southside had to come back saying, I, I, no, 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 he said something first. And then she said, I secured 18 years. It's like, you can't see that it ain't about nothing but money. Like, a motherfucker don't give a fuck about you. You are nothing to them but a chick. Without that check, you are non-fucking existent. Bitches like that are a dime a dozen. What I'm saying is they're a dime a dozen. If, if you're all about a check, first of all, you're a prostitute. So what I'm saying is, why treat her in a goddess-like way? Bitch, that's not how the fuck you ask for a gift. Bitch, that's not how the fuck we, um, uh, um, I don't want to say act. This is not how we uh, carry ourselves online. At the very least, bitch, I'm, 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 I'm the reason why you got this and got that. I'm, I'm, I'm having to put all this money down on you. At the very least, respect me in public. So you saying, not only are you going to be taking money that you don't deserve, bitch, because that pussy ain't really hitting like that. The head ain't hitting like that, ass black China. It's hoes, little Nene in the hood, you know what I'm saying, fuck way better than you. Look better than you. 
without that makeup and shit. And you telling me you can't eat. Why would I stand for this? I wouldn't stand. See, Javante Davis, I think that he did. I think there's something going on with him mentally and shit like that. I just seen a video where Ari telling him, sit the fuck down. And this nigga sat down like a child. It was like she was talking like a mother or like a big sister to a little, goddamn, a big sister to a little brother. Shout out to Terrence, the new Patreon. Uh, $1.50 fifty Patreon. Shout out. Um, but I can't even get that respect. But but that that's something totally different. That that's what a nigga mindset, and that that's just something that I, I saw, and it just kind of blows my mind. Um, and but of course them niggas will call me oh broke ass nigga you ain't got shit but you ain't got none of this you ain't got none of this and nigga just flex stupid stupid hunnies and all that shit like that and that's niggas response it's like but uh, are you gonna address how your bitch don't respect you no nigga don't wanna do that but it's fine let's get down to this shit right here a ride or die bitch First off, let's, let me handle, let me handle the obvious business. I don't like the fact we're gonna be here for a while. I don't like the fact that females. If it's me and five of my niggas in this bitch, it, or it's me and just five niggas, when this bitch talking about whatever the fuck we talking about, I'm probably talking about some rap shit. I'm telling, hey, look, this that that bullshit IG sponsorship doesn't work. You understand? It's not gonna get you anywhere. No one actually looks at the IG sponsorship, they scroll right past it. Of course, I'll look at it because I'm, this is why I, I do music and shit like this. So that this, I do promotion and music. So, of course, I would, you know, I'm looking for new sounds and maybe something that I can see and making connections and shit like that. Maybe I like the way the cameraman did his shit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just anything. Um, I'm about relationships. That's how I can make my money. Um, we, I'm just talking and giving niggas, you know, what they need and shit like that, answering questions. A bitch walks in a room. Now, all of a sudden, nigga was so, niggas was open to ask questions and let it be known that they don't know shit. Now that she walk in the room, nigga like, well, shit, bro, I'm straight because shit, I, I, should I get my views, bro? Should I get my views? I ain't like the rest of these rap niggas. Like, Philip, like, you know, what? What? You know what I'm saying? And and niggas still do that. That's why with me, with me, I have so many fucking rules and regulations when it comes to uh, the consultations that I do and shit. Like I don't fuck with groups. Um, my nigga, like if I'm if I'm truly taking you on, um, but see that's also the reason why. I couldn't be a manager. I would. I would always have to be. You pay me up front for my services because I know what that hoe is gonna do to your drive. I know what she's gonna do. You don't know because this is your first time here. The same way that um, niggas come into the interrogation room and a police officer can run that good cop bad cop and it work because. You're, this is where the police officers live. They know what the fuck going on. You just now coming in this bitch. So it's like, you don't know what the fuck going on. I know what the fuck is going to happen. I know what that bitch is going to do to your mind. She doesn't understand this game. So the shit that I'm going to be telling you, and on top of the other shit she has in her mind, which is the closer and closer you get to success, the tougher and tougher her competition becomes. But if, if the TV didn't come on, it wouldn't be an episode, of course. But I know that there's, there, there's usually more going on in that house. And you... Actually, and when you meet somebody like me, she's going to see change. There, it's, it's proven. She's going to see change, not only in the way that you're moving, but in your numbers. 
because I'm going to have you doing shit that actually works. Different maneuver, different tactics that are going to actually work. So now, yeah, are you always on the phone and, I, uh, and you get all that? I'm not with that shit, my nigga. Man, she tripped. No, I'm not. This is why I tell niggas, duh, you're in your transition. You're in your transitional phase. You don't need anyone around. It's that it's so lovely to say, uh, uh man, she been with me from the uh, all that good shit. But that shit is unreal, fucking listic in real fucking life. Because and I'm saying I'm saying this because the people who can work through it, who does have a ride or die on their side, they'll understand that. Yeah, the majority of you niggas is fucking with bitches that don't want you to succeed. They take no offense. So when I'm telling you that that bitch that you with doesn't want you to succeed, you understand what the fuck I'm talking about because you've already had these thoughts. The the, the, the wife and husband and the, the girl and boyfriend, the assistant and boss that work together well, mistress and boss that work together well, they don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying, me stating the facts. The majority of women or the majority of partners don't want their partner to get to another level to where they then they become in, um, insignificant and, uh, and um, they can't even compete on that level. You understand? They don't know if you guys is born and strong enough. So them helping you and pushing you to, to become successful may get them pushed totally out the picture. Um, uh, keep grinding with him and then when he get on he leave your ass for a white girl you know what I'm saying that type of shit um, that's why I say just so nobody gets hurt I'm just going to keep on doing this thing by myself until I get there and then I'll be able to think clearly because right now I have to focus everything that I have on where I'm trying to go that means all the hours I'm getting up I'm waking up out my sleep with ideas. Hey, I need to do this for the show. Hey, I need to do this, but I got this. It's a great tactic. I think that we can undercut um, IG sponsorship if we do this. You always have an idea because your work is you. You are your work. You're one and the same. So when she asks or he asks for some quality time, it's like, quality what? Quality what? Do you see where we're at right now? For me to attempt to enjoy my current position would be as insane as a fucking, you know, an innocent man in jail giving up. Just giving like, fuck it, man, they ain't never gonna let me out. I'm not gonna celebrate no jail shit. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be at the bottom. I'm supposed to be up there with the other people that think like me, the other creators, the other people that have imagination and have the will to go and, and the, the push to put behind it. They don't mind sacrificing. Shit gets, it, it, like you only have one mind. Trust me, man. This shit can get overwhelming at times. I couldn't imagine having someone around me. I would be lashing out. You know, they wouldn't understand the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just something that comes with trying to do something that most people don't have the care to do. Like, what the fuck? What's wrong with where we at? All that crazy ass shit, man. So, you know, that that's something totally different. But understand that, though. I want you to understand that. Um, I love when I get um, DMs about... Man, I went ahead and left that nothing ass bitch and all that shit like that. And man, I, she wasn't good for me. Um, niggas send me videos of man, this bitch trying to stab me and shit like that, or record them arguing and and shit. And it's like, man, I feel you on that, but I hope that you're not just doing that to try to impress me. I hope that you truly mean that. And after you leave, or even a woman, after you leave that fucked up relationship, now it's time to. Run, 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 run. It's not no, I'm lonely tonight. Let me hit them back. Or, you know, all that shit, like all that, all that uh, backslide. If that's what you own, be on that. Just wherever you're going to go, just be there. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a family person, be that. If you want to be an innovator, be that. You know, on both sides, there are pros and cons. 
over here, you're, you're not going to be lonely. You know, you'll have somebody. You can have all the sex you want, all that good shit right there. But if you have it in your mind that you're supposed to be a somebody, you need to take that out because you, you're going to torture yourself. You're going to torture yourself if you, like, and you're going to be a 45 year old motherfucker trying to, hey man, I'm trying to get a promotional package. For what? I do that music. Yeah, my girl, she support me. Like, what the fuck? My nigga, you 45. Uh, I don't know if that music thing gonna work for you. Furthermore, I don't, like, I, if I put you on my platform, like, people are gonna think that, you know, and I mean, I guess the music is good, but it's like, I don't know, dog. Like, you, you, if you're gonna wait that long to follow your dreams, it's like, my nigga, whatever the fuck it was that held you up, you need to start thinking about another way that you can get into the industry that you love. Maybe not being the one on stage, but the one that's putting people on stage. It's a whole lot of things you can do with music. Um, and if you come on this side of being an innovator, you have to know that you're going to be lonely. You know what I'm saying? People are going to, you know, get bad vibes off of you. People are going to say that you, you're rude and insensitive, you know, all that good shit like that. But... You got what you wanted, which was to be successful, was to show the people that, you know, say, and some motherfuckers like, I want to save my family name. We not just all, that's me talking to, that's me talking to the, the innovator. And I feel like I have to do that because as you know, nobody gives a fuck. We don't give a fuck about young Miami. Uh, South Side and what the fuck they have going on. What I need for you to do is pull something out of this situation that you can use. All of this shit is connected. You choosing the, the your partner who's going to be the one who either helps you get to where you're trying to go or hinders you from getting where you're trying to go. The decision is yours. Uh, but as far as this shit, the first thing I want to speak about is I, did, I feel like Something cold is on my tooth. Um, why in the fuck is it okay for young Miami to talk to the fucking police? Why is it accepted? So you can speak all the gangster shit you want to speak. You can say all the shit you want to say. But we supposed to just know, uh, you know, she a girl, right? We, we love what she does, and she just, well, you need to start giving credit to the girl. They doing it. Hold on. You give credit to an artist because they're bringing what's inside of them out in a creative way. These girls aren't doing that. They're just saying what people, what they think people will think is cool. Let's show love to people like Tierra Whack, um, Dreezy, Tink. True artists, real artists, come and that's crazy because all them are uh, brown skin girls. But of course, because you look at those, those three girls, they don't look like Megan Thee Stallion. Well, I don't know how the fuck Suki Hana. She just got through there because she was just that. Um, she was the boom gang. Uh, uh, she was the. Um, yeah, boom game. Just, I'm going to do anything. I, ah, yeah, look at me. That type of shit. And then she get on this motherfucker. You got to go see that Suki Hana video. Uh, get to the Patreon. Now, uh, like, now you crying because you want to go back to school. Go to school. Are you fuck? That was a whole other situation. But I'm wondering, how is it okay for the female rappers to blatantly just lie? Like, you hear all these... Like, listen to these, some of these female rappers. They talking about sticks, and they got sticks in a fucking uh, music video. They talking about all kind of, I want my nigga be a killer, and he got to kill some niggas. If he don't want to kill no niggas, then I ain't just fucking with him. They letting you know, like, I want a street thug gangster. If you not about that, if you niggas be slapping you and shit like that, and you be snitching to the police, I don't got nothing to do with you, nigga. But in the same fucking breath, I, was, then, I don't know where they came from, and they just shot from behind that the hell. And, uh, I don't know, man. Hold on, hold on. You not PG thirteen? 
You talk about coming from the streets. Like, you talk about, you know what I'm saying? Now, it's okay to talk to the fucking police? How you think they look at that shit? Well, I'll do all that motherfucking protests and Black Lives Matter. As soon as it's gonna pop off, here y'all come calling us. What you need now? Come on, dog. Come on, man. But that's your, that was your first fucking response. Something tragic, something uh, traumatic just happened, and your first thought was call the white man. White man gonna save me. White man always save me. White man. White man. White man. Come. All that fucking yabba yabba, that's my issue. Because you're just talking. You want credit for just talking. Not action, no action put behind it. Uh, Sukihana, you're, you're just talking. You don't want to be a stripper, nothing ass bitch, seen as a slut. You want to be in a relationship with Chaotic, which is a rapper. Shout out to Chaotic. Um, and you want to be a schoolgirl. You want to be respected. You don't want niggas grabbing at your ass like, oh, that bitch that sucked that good dick. You sucked that good dick, Suki. Man, like, let a nigga say that shit in the mall when she in the mall or some shit like that. I wonder if she'll get offended. You got that good coochie, Suki. I fuck with you. I want to I wanna fuck you so bad. Ooh, you so fucking. Ooh, I want to fuck you. Ooh, bitch. I swear to God, boy, you the baddest bitch. I, I swear to God, I want to see what, what that mom do with this dick. Ooh, ooh, bitch. Ooh, I need to go further. Southside. What's up with you, my nigga? You doing all this talking and see this is and this is another reason why, sweetheart, please understand. Just because you're a woman, niggas don't have to spare you, bitch. As soon as you come out here and you want this, you know what come with this money. You understand the rich that come with it. And and if, if you got anything going on with dope, I hope all y'all see what your bitch is gonna do. I got a baby. I gotta think about my baby. Even though the all the dope you've been selling and the respect you got in the street and shit like that, that's what keeping this bitch and, 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 and providing for her other fucking child. But she gonna forget all about that shit when the motherfuckers knock at the fucking door. That's what I'm telling y'all. Go to the Patreon and see the ride or die test so you can test your hoe before it's too fucking late. But this is a, like accountability once again. Young Miami, you think that everybody got to play fair? You think, uh, no, nah, he said that y'all need to go take that over him. No, you, you his bitch.